Imagine, if you will, that each of you is 60 years old, if you're not already, and you're 100% financially secure with over $3 million in investments, and it's growing. I mean, how, how would you feel? Happy, relaxed, stress-free, worry-free about your financial future? What would your life be like? The truth is, most people, less than 20% of the population, will actually retire financially secure. The combined credit card debt in North America is currently $825 billion. But that pales in comparison to the student loan debt, which is $1.3 trillion. Oh, and the global government debt? $62 trillion. And sadly, the average person will only have $6,200 in assets when they die. We debt finance everything, and this has become normalized in society. And because of this, most people will not retire financially secure. This is a global issue. And if it doesn't change, you, the taxpayer, and your children, and their children, and their children will be paying for this atrocity. We're expected to pay down all of our government debts with our taxes, and a lot of people have to liquidate to pay off their debt. How did this happen? Well, there's two reasons. First, the education system does not teach simple money management habits to children growing up. And second, we are influenced to debt finance everything. Debt is a multi-billion dollar industry. You know, we go to school growing up. We all went to school. And what did we learn? Math, science, geography, English, calculus. <laughs> but there's a glaring lack of financial literacy in the educational curriculum. And worldwide, there's a precept that we are to go to school, we get educated, we get a job, but nobody's teaching anybody how to manage money properly. And most people will graduate from university and college with no financial foundation, only debt, and most people are going into the professional world completely in debt. Simply because the education system is not teaching us, you, me, our children, how to manage money properly. My belief is that the school system failed us. <laughs> and by not including financial literacy in the curriculum, we all grew up and we all graduated with knowledge in certain areas, but the entire world runs on money, and if you don't know how to manage it properly, you run into trouble. And our children aren't being educated how to manage money. I have four children, two boys, two shoppers.
I want my children to hit retirement completely financially secure, and I'm going to make sure that happens. Because let me share with you a story as to why this is so important to me. You see, I didn't have any financial training. I went into the world, and I was really good at selling and making money in business. But in 1991, after selling a half a million dollars the year before in my first business, I found myself completely broke at $150,000 in debt. You see, there was an economic recession. And it was really bad. And all the businesses that I was selling to were starting to bounce their checks. And some went bankrupt, and my checks were then bouncing, and my business was spiraling out of control. So in 1991, at the age of 31, I got to move back home with my parents. Oh, yeah, I felt like a loser. But you know what? Try and get a date. <laughs> what? We're going back to your parents? Try and get a second date. <laughs> but while back at home, which was not only just a humbling experience for me, my mother came into the bedroom I was occupying, and she handed me a book, and she said, read this. I read it, and it had a very simple principle. Save 10% of everything you earn, invest it properly, and never spend it. I then read another book, same principle. Save 10%, never spend it. I thought to myself, is it really that simple? 10% of everything you earn, and you just invest it properly, and, and it'll grow? Well. I was fortunate enough at that time to also meet a mentor. His name was Doug Maharg. He was a very successful multimillionaire businessman in Toronto. And he took me under his wing. And he taught me how to run a business. And he taught me how to manage money. You see, he saved 10% of everything he earned throughout his lifetime and accumulated a very large fortune. And so I started to take money that I was earning and investing it in the stock market and in real estate. And within two years, I was completely financially free, and by eight years, my assets were over a million dollars, and I kept growing. And I went back into the business world, and I started to sell really well because I had the confidence now and the understanding of the way money works. If you m make it and spend it, it disappears. But when you have this financial foundation in place, amazing things happen. Imagine this. At 15, you started to put $100 a month away. And by the time you were 20, you increased that to $500 a month, and then onward, you kept increasing it. Well, if you did that over 40 years, you'd have about $2 million in investments. After 50 years, over $5 million in investments. 10%. That's all it took. So, having had this experience, I went into the world and became an international speaker, and I trained all these courses in business and leadership. And, and one thing I noticed as I traveled around the world, having trained over 250,000 entrepreneurs, I discovered that everybody is struggling. This is a global issue. People don't know how to manage money properly, and as a result, they're struggling. And so I created a system based on those books, and some other influencers that I met along the way. And the system is called Life's Golden Buckets. And it's a simple money management system. And my goal is that every child 
throughout the world via the internet will be able to educate themselves and I'm going to ask parents and grandparents and everybody to ensure that your children, their children and grandchildren start learning this. And I'm working with an amazing woman to, to help bring this out to the world. Because we want our children to grow up not in debt, but flourishing with investments. So let me show you this system. It's called Life's Golden Buckets. Now, these buckets represent bank accounts. The way this works is all of your after-tax income goes in to an account. And you divide your money into six accounts. So it's after-tax income. Now, if you're self-employed, you have your own business, then of course you must save your own taxes. So I have my own tax bucket. Now. The first bucket is your investment account. 10% of everything you earn goes in here. And I'll use money as a visual, because we like money. 10% goes in here, invest it properly with a proper financial advisor, and never spend it. Next is your spending account. This is for buying things. We all like to buy things, we need to buy things. But often people are buying things on credit cards and, and, and these loans that you don't pay off till next year, and that's what's getting people into trouble. 10% goes into this account every time you get paid, and when you've got enough money to buy that new TV or that car or whatever you want to buy, then you spend it. So you only spend it when you have it. Next is your education account. We want our children to learn to save for their education so that they have money to go to university with or college with or po any post-secondary school. But also, throughout your entire lifetime, you want to continue to educate yourself. I'm constantly reinvesting in myself because there's so much to always learn in business. So 10% goes in your education account. Next is your life necessities account. This account is 55%. Yes, you have to learn to live on 55% of your after-tax income. So sometimes, and for a while, you may have to simplify things like I did so that you can get back on track. The next is your fun account. Because on your way to financial freedom and security, you still have to have fun. So every time you get paid, 10% goes in your fun account, and you must spend this every month. <laughs> go out for a nice dinner, get a nice bottle of wine, go on a little a, a vacation retreat, a weekend retreat. You can also save it up for three months once in a while and go on a nice uh, weekend getaway with your partner. Do family things with this. Have fun. Because what's going to happen is if you simplify and you're investing and you're still having fun, you're going to get into the habit of living this way and eventually this is going to grow and you'll be able to live off the residual. And you'll probably live a lot better th than you did your entire life. The last account is your charity account so that we always have money to give back and we have money whenever there's a need in the world. <laughs> this simple money management system can be taught in every classroom in the world and that's what we're doing. And I'm dedicating part of my life now to making sure that our young people are properly educated, and I'm going to create a massive, global, influential movement to do this because it's needed. And I don't want my children, and I don't want your children or the grandchildren to become victims of a society that influences debt 
when you can simply create freedom if you just invest simply 10% of your money. It's that simple. So this is a system that is simple, it's doable, and it's just math. I'm going to ask every person, every man, to take responsibility and educate their children. Every woman to take responsibility and educate their children on a system like this. Mothers are probably the best at teaching. You know, there's a truth. If women ran the world, we'd have world peace and no hunger. So I'm going to ask everyone, man, women, even children, start learning this system. It's never too late. Adults can learn at any time, and it works. I've seen so many lives impacted in a positive way by people who've taken this system and implemented it. I'm going to ask you to help me. We want to create an organic online education system so that children can graduate. You know, a child en entering high school today or entering school today will graduate in 2076. Let's make sure that they are totally secure. And when they retire, so they retire in 2076, let's make sure they're ret totally secure.